A Brownsville man is voicing his outrage over shoddy caliche roads and blocked drainage ditches that threaten to increase flooding problems in the area. The roads are not paved. We were promised the roads were going to be paved. There's no street lights. Uh, we're having a lot of problems with Coyote. The drain ditches, uh, they, they're always flooded. The roads are getting flooded as well. About a year and a half ago, Roberto Lozano started building a home at a new subdivision on the edge of town in Brownsville from the developer S.R. Campbell Properties out of Harlingen. Lozano says S.R. Campbell promised him paved streets and street lights as soon as his home was built. Today, the roads remain unpaved and it's pitch black at night. In most areas, the shrub in the drainage ditches are at a higher level than the street. And Roberto says when it rains, it causes ponding. I've been working uh, with the city of Brownsville to try and uh, make this a better place. Brownsville Public Health Department did show up today to treat the ponding. What are you going to do with the standing water issues? I have to go ahead and, and treat it and put, put some of the, the larva side in it to, to prevent any mosquitoes from, from being born. In order to try and correct the street problem, Action 4 News called Brownsville's Public Works Department. When they Subdivision is first designed, it, it's taken through the procedures, and then if it gets approved, then the developer puts up the money to put up all the infrastructure, the roads, the storm system, mm -hmm. and the paving of the road. Santiago Navarro, Assistant Public Works Director, said prior to the city annexing the area where Lozano lives, the contractor dropped the ball although it is their responsibility to finish the project. Navarro says the city currently doesn't have enough funds or immediate plans to finish the subdivision.